Shukran tena kwa kuchagua taarifa zetu za darubini weekend. Jioni hii leo mimi ni kamchemenza wa ishara ni Byron Abuli. Karibu twende nalo. Moja kwa moja ni kwamba Rais William Ruto amesema hatolegeza juhudi zake za kuhakikisha kila Mkenya analipa ushuru bila kujali tabaka zao katika jamii. Rais amesema ameiagiza halmashauri ya ukusanyaji ushuru humu nchini KRA kufikia makubaliano na wale wanaokuepa kulipa ushuru uh, kuhusu taratibu za kulipa. Rais wakati huo huo aliagiza taasisi za serikali ambazo zimeelekea mahakamani kushtaki halmashauri ya KRA kuondoa kesi zao mara moja na badala yake kurejelea mazungumzo. Mwanahabari wetu John Jacob Kioria anatukunjulia jamvi la darubini wikendi jioni hii leo. How are you sir? Katika kanisa la Mega City Deliverance mtaani Rai jijini Nairobi. Hello ma'am. Niko njiani na kuja. Rais ile mruto akiandamana na naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa na kundi la viongozi kutoka bunge la kitaifa na kaunti ya Nairobi alihudhuria ibada ya Jumapili. Kiongozi wa kanisa hilo askofu Mark Kariuki alikuwa pia kizindua mkakati wake wa kuwezesha kanisa hilo kujenga nyumba kadhaa za gharama nafuu na jumba la mikutano katika deliverance church tumekata kauli tulisikia wito wako wa kupanda miti na sisi tumejitolea tutapanda 2 million 2 million trees In fact in fact it's not 2 million it is 1 million 999 kwa sababu umepanda moja leo <laughs> Ni hapa ambapo Rais William Ruto alionekana kuwajibu wale waliokosoa msimamo wake kuhusu ulipaji wa ushuru. We have all agreed and we have built consensus that irrespective of your status of all other considerations whatever region you come from whatever religion you profess all of us we have built a consensus that there will be no waiver of taxes for anybody. Sisi wote tumekubaliana kila mmoja wetu atalipa ushuru. Rais alisema kwa kukusanya ushuru kutoka kwa wale ambao wamekuwa kiondolewa ushuru kwa njia isiyofaa, nchi hii itaweza kuyalipa madeni yake na kuendeleza maendeleo. Na niyo njia ambayo itatusaidia kuokoa taifa letu kutoka janga la madeni. Dawa ya madeni ni sisi kulipa ushuru na kusimamia maendeleo ya taifa letu tukitumia pesa zetu mpaka tufike mahali pale badala ya kukopa tutakuwa tunakopesha watu wengine. Sometimes I analyze. I thought that the path to our president getting into leadership was difficult. But I am now persuaded that getting through the government he's inherited the economy the problems bedeviling the people of Kenya is an equally even more difficult task Matthew 22:21 give unto Caesar that which is Caesar's and to God that which is God's kwa hivyo ukiambua ulipe ushuri tafadhali lipa usilete anko yako akutetee tunaleta shosho naambia madhe pambana na KRA hakuna hiyo maneno tulipeni ushuru kuna watu interior alituangaisha kwa sababu biashara ilikuwa inatakikana i must say kwa sababu if we allow those things to continue and that's why we love the president to ensure that they do not happen in the future sindio rais ruto hata hivyo aliwahakikishia wa kenya kwamba halmashauri ya ukusanyaji ushuru hapa nchini kra itatekeleza majukumu yake bila fujo huko akisema ameagiza halmashauri hiyo kuafikia makubaliano ya ulipaji ushuru na watu waliokosa kulipa ushuru wao kila mkenya apatue nafasi ya kulipa bila ya kushurutishwa bila ya kuangaishwa kila mtu atapatiwa nafasi mashirika ya serikali pia ambayo yameshtaki mahakamani halmashauri ya KRA yameagizwa kuondoa kesi zao mara moja na kujadiliana na halmashauri hiyo endeni mfanye mazungumzo na KRA mtoe mpango na taratibu ya kule ya kulipa ushuru polepole pole. tuache kusumbuana kotini kwa sababu mawakili ndio wanapata pesa na serikali inapoteza John Jacob Curia Darubini